I'm John Cadavan, and I am wearing a bib. Uh, a bib, according to the Webster Dictionary, is a device that's worn from the neck, covering the chest to protect garments. So if I'm eating something and it dribbles on my bib, my garment is protected, at least to some extent. Now this bib is just made out of paper. So it wouldn't be very effective if I had a lot of water falling on it or whatever falling on it. Anyway, uh, bibs can also be used in solar applications, but this kind of bib probably wouldn't work very well. That's just a, a, a paper napkin. You might have to use something a little more substantial. Um, this is uh, totally waterproof. This is 45 mil EDPN. Ethylene, diene, propylene, monomer. EDPN. Okay, uh, so I could wear this like this, I suppose. And if I was really careful, the water would just trickle down here. I wouldn't have any problem at all. Uh, the smallest size that I could get comes in this roll. It's 5 feet by 10 feet. But uh, you can make enough bibs from this roll uh, to make about eight MTD collectors. Um, okay, so let's uh, put the collector together and see where the bibs fit in. Okay, the first thing we'll have to do, uh, this is the MTD frame. It's made from steel stud slots. Uh, not going to talk about that today, though. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is going to slide the backing in. This is uh, a piece of uh, isocyanurate insulation, uh, no, commonly known as Tough R. Okay, uh, so this is not only the backing for the collector, but it's also the insulation for the collector. All right, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, mod modified trickle-down MTD. Uh, it, what it means is that water trickles down from the top of the collector. This is a sorry, this is a uh, trickle-down tube or a trickle-down distributor. Uh, sometimes I call it a TDD. It's just a heater hose, and you can see th these are drip irrigation spigots that are pressed into the heater hose. So it makes it easy uh, to install. Okay. So water trickles down from the top of the collector, and it's collected in a gutter at the bottom. And uh, for a gutter, I'm just using a PVC pipe with a slot cut, cut in it. And uh, the bibs will collect the water and channel it into the, into the uh, gutter. But um, if we just put we trickle water down on top of this, it's going to flow over the sides. So we have to put a water, waterproof underlayment in there. So there's a few more materials besides bibs that we want to talk about. This is mylar. Uh, it's also known as polyester. So we're going to have a film, a mylar film on the bottom. I call that the waterproof underlayment. And then on top we have uh, a, what I call an inner film. But they're both the same. They're both made with this mylar uh, film. Now, uh, the same material that's used to make this is also used to make this, soda bottles. Uh, and used soda bottles are ground up uh, and recycled as polyester felt. And this is the material that, that will be uh, changing sunlight into heat. And the water will flow right through this. Okay, so you know what the basic materials are. Now let's, let's assemble this. Now there's going to be four bibs that will be used inside the collector. These are the four bibs. So let's uh, get started. The first bib is the goes at the foot of the collector. I call this the foot, and this is the foot bottom bib. So it goes at the foot of the collector towards the bottom. And it should extend over the edge of the collector by about two inches. Okay? Now, the next bib that we want to install 
is the head bib, head bottom. There we go. So the notch goes in here like this. And see this tab? This tab will fit on the uh, inside the flange. You can see that. It's a little difficult to see. Can you see that? Yes. In place with this piece of insulation. This is two and a half inches by 29, by, uh, I'm sorry, by 25 inches. So I just press it in like this. And there we go. So we've installed the two bottom bibs. The head bottom bib and the uh, foot bottom bib. Now the next thing we're going to put in here is the mylar film. This is the, I call this the underlayment. Because uh, this is a waterproof underlayment and the water is going to trickle down on top of this mylar film. Without this, the water would just spill out all over the place. Okay, we'll take a... Now, I just want to show you that the mylar film goes underneath this um, uh, head bib. Okay, so the water is going to trickle down off this mat and right on the mylar film. And then right over the top of the bottom bib. Okay. Uh, it's a little weird, I guess. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, the next thing that we need is the polyester felt. So we just roll the polyester felt out. Just like this. Okay. Now, over the polyester felt, we're going to have uh, another bib. And this bib is going to force the water onto this polyester felt. And I call this the uh, top head bib. And you can see the notch here is cut out to uh, allow the trickle down tube. Fit over it. So a little, a little tricky, just like that though. Can you see how that fits? Okay. All right. After that's done, we're ready for our next layer of mylar film. And I call this the inner film. This is inside the uh, collector, but it's on top of everything else. Uh, notice how it, you know, uh, you know, take a look up here. I just want you to see that. So the water's going to flow under, under this uh, bib and then underneath the uh, mylar film and right through the polyester film. Um, now, uh, we're almost done. This is the, called the trickle-down mat. And the, the last bib uh, is the top foot bib. And that goes right on like this. Okay? And that's the trickle-down mat. Now, uh, why do we use bibs? Well, if we just use the mylar film by itself, it's just not durable enough on the edges. It's a very tough material, but uh, the edges uh, will tend to tear. Uh, and uh, this is a, a lot more rugged. Um, that's basically the reason. All right, uh, so the next thing we need to do is hold the mylar in place with strips of insulation. This is, a, this is one by two and a half inch strips. And you notice there's a little notch cut out here. And this, uh, this little notch on the top allows uh, room for the uh, trickle down tube. Okay, so and we're going to just press that in like this. Now, when you do it, I'm sure you're going to be a lot neater than me. Okay, and then you press the one on the other side. There you go. Now, 
The next thing we need is uh, some cross supports. And this will just contain the trickle down to in this chamber. Uh, can you see that? Yes. Oh, you come up here. Okay, so this is a the head cross support. Uh, I can just hold that in place with a few screws. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Um, and this is the bottom cross support. Now, notice the, these little rubber bumpers. These are also made with uh, heater hose. And what they do is they just gently press down on the trickle-down mat, and that just holds everything in place. Okay? And notice this extends over the edge. See this lip here extends over the edge by a, about a half an inch. Okay, so we screw that in place. in. Uh, now, uh, the next thing we want to do is install our glazing. And this is a sun tough uh, polycarbonate material. Very, very tough material. It doesn't seem like it, but it's very rugged. Uh, this is just an old piece. You'd normally want it to extend over the edge of this lip. Uh, anyway, polycarbonate material goes in here and then you can screw it down and the last thing you'll do on the roof is you'll install this trickle down tube This is where your water comes in. And then you're going to wrap, wrap this EDPN material around the tube. And this is the uh, trickle-down chamber. Sorry, I'm doing this kind of fast, so it's a little messy. Anyway, after you're all set, you just tuck this in nice. Put your glazing material on like that. And then you have a, a cover to protect it. This is made from a uh, steel stud slot also. And uh, last but not least, we're going to install the gutter. Now remember, this is after it's installed. This is only about 32 inches. But you might have a piece of uh, PVC pipe that's 8 feet or 9 feet long uh, to connect many collectors. So, all you do is just slide it in like this. Notice the edge. You see the way the gutter wraps around the edge and you can tuck it in here like that because you don't want water to spill out the, the edge and that makes it waterproof. Okay, and last but not least, um, so the water's going to run down off the uh, polycarbonate glazing right over the edge and we don't want we don't want runoff water to run into it we don't want rainwater to come in here because that will contaminate our, our regular water so we have a protective lid with the, the notch cut in this uh, support I'll just put a screw in here and that's it that's basically how bibs can be used to collect solar heat.